And now we're seeing also the, uh, we've had the Trumpification of our politics and the Trumpification of our media. There's a new right-wing website out and uh, it's being run by uh, Patrick Howley, a guy who was a regular guest on, I used to debate him all the time. He was a guest on my TV show in, in Washington, D.C. And he's running this, this website that is even weirder, even more out there than Breitbart, right? I mean, the people who were like too crazy, and they're literally making stuff up. And, uh, you know, like one of the reporters was uh, assaulted in, at an Antifa ra riot, right? No such thing. I mean, you know, it's literally making this stuff up. Where did this all start? Well, you know, there actually is a backstory here. Kevin Rudd, who was the, uh, the equivalent of the president of Australia, he was the prime minister of Australia back some years ago, the, the last labor government. Kevin Rudd wrote a piece for the, Sunday, uh, the uh, Saturday Morning Herald, or Sunday Morning Herald, uh, the, the Australian paper, the, or excuse me, the Sydney Morning, maybe it's the Sydney Morning, it's SMH. I'm sorry, I don't have the paper right in front of me. I just have a printout of it. It doesn't have the name of the paper, but... Um, for the morning, uh, in fact, actually, no, I've got it right here on my computer. It's the Sydney Morning Herald. Okay, got it right. Kevin Rudd, the former prime minister, wrote a piece, and the title of it is Cancer Eating the Heart of Australian Democracy. And he opens up by saying, you know, Australian politics has become vicious, toxic, and unstable. The core question is, why? Why? And then he gets right to the answer. He says, at the top of it all has been Mur Rupert Murdoch, the greatest cancer on the Australian democracy. This is the former prime minister saying this. He's, he writes, Murdoch is not just a news organization. Murdoch operates as a political party acting in pursuit of clearly defined commercial interests in addition to his far right ideological worldview in Britain. Murdoch made Brexit, Brexit possible because of the position taken by his newspapers. In the United States, Murdoch's Fox News is the political echo chamber of the far right, which enabled the, treat, the Tea Party and then the Trump Party to stage a hostile takeover of the Republican Party. In Australia, as in America, Murdoch has campaigned for decades in support, in support of tax cuts for the rich, killing action on climate change, and destroying anything approximating multiculturalism. What's unique about Australia, former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd writes, is that Murdoch owns two-thirds of our country's print media. No other democracy has anything approaching his effective media monopoly. Again, the former Prime Minister, the, the Australian equivalent of President, the former Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd, writes, Murdoch is also a political bully and a thug who for many years has hired bullies as his editors. The message to Australian politicians is clear. Either toe the line on what Murdoch wants or he kills you politically. This has produced a cowering, fearful political culture across the country. Is not Ta Fox News doing the exact same thing, which Mur 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 Murdoch owns? They have created this monster of Trump. They promote Trumpism. They promote xenophobia, they promote fear, they promote conspiracy theories, they promote hatred as a political weapon. They promote the idea that there are, you know, uh, uh, illegal voters out there, that there's voter fraud. Right, over a billion votes were counted in, in a major study, a university study, and they found 31 instances of people voting illegally, in quotes. And only two of those were people pretending they were somebody else. You know, campaigns of fear and lies being promoted by right-wing media, and the right-wing media is getting even farther to the right. And then we hear this absolute BS on networks like CNN and MSNBC. Well, actually, on CNN, I heard, I heard it uh, twice yesterday, where, the, where, where somebody was talking about, well, you know, you got the far right on Fox, and you got the far left on MSNBC telling lies. Really? I mean, there's an entire website, MediaMatters.org, devoted to, and uh, FoxHounds.us is, is it FoxHounds? NewsHounds. NewsHounds.us. Uh, that, you know, we watch Fox so you don't have to. That are devoted to literally to daily debunking the lies on Fox News. 
Do you know of any website that does that for MSNBC? Can you identify one lie about the Republicans that has been promoted on MSNBC? I mean, I can, I can complain about their, their sins of omission. They don't talk about, for example, net neutrality because they're owned by Comcast. They don't talk about corporate mergers and, and uh, you know, the, the power of wealth because, hey, they are the power of wealth. But they don't lie. Over on Fox, they actually lie. And then CNN comes along and goes, well, you got the far left on MSNBC and the far right on Fox. I'm sorry, that's a false equivalence. It's a completely false equivalence. And I'm not somebody who typically defends MSNBC, as you well know. But this is, I mean, this is what it has come to. And I think Kevin Rudd has nailed it. I think Rupert Murdoch poisoned the politics of Australia. Then he left Australia and went to the United Kingdom where he set up shop and he poisoned the politics of the United Kingdom and brought us conservative rule in the, in the United Kingdom. And then he moved to the United States and poisoned the political discourse in the United States and took over the Republican Party. And, excuse me, and frankly, it seems to me now that the Republican Party is being run by Rupert Murdoch. I mean, you know, in, in, in uh, I mean, Bill Shine, the guy is now the White House communications director. He was forced out of Fox News over by the Me Too movement for his sexual predatory behavior. But he's obviously still, you know, hot tied into, into Fox News. And, the, you know, the Fox News, it's just like, it's, it's like state television, except it's not state television. It's billionaire television. You've got the billionaire media in Australia, Rupert Murdoch. You've got the billionaire media in the United Kingdom. They own the Times of London, Rupert Murdoch. And you've got now the billionaire media in the United States. Uh, you know, I, again, I, I went through uh, uh, an airport last week. And uh, in the United Clubs, the only newspaper that they get, they used to give away, you know, the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Financial Times, and the Wall Street Journal. Now it's all Wall Street Journal. Nothing but. And I'm convinced that, you know, Murdoch is no dummy. He, he, he knows giving away free media is a great way to get people to, to use it, to think like that. He did this with Fox News. And Fox News, you know, you can't get MSNBC on basic cable. You have to pay an extra fee to get MSNBC, typically five bucks a month. But it varies depending on the package and the, and the cable provider that you have or the satellite provider that you have. You have to pay extra for MSNBC. Fox is free. And this, this has poisoned our political discourse in this country. And the question is, you know, how do you do something about this when what you're talking about is the media, which is like this First Amendment sacred thing? I don't want to get into the, into the business of defining what is and isn't the media. I mean, when that happened, I mean, Google has already done it, right? They, they don't spider alternate any longer because they say, oh, it's not the media. They talk about Republican fascism. And so you can't, you can't, you know, look, for, search for articles there. This is the Tom Hartman program. So anyhow, we, we, we've got a serious problem here with the billionaire takeover of our media and the billionaire takeover basically of the Republican Party. What do we do about it? 